NASA has a bizarre fear over astronauts getting pregnant in space during long trips. Officially, no sex is sought to have occurred in space so far, but experts have stressed that extended periods of time spent in the cosmos could change this. NASA chiefs are reportedly concerned one of its astronauts will suffer an unintended pregnancy in space as they will be spending more time on missions in the cosmos, reports claim. Fears over the unknown consequences of women becoming pregnant outside the blue planet or Earth, something that has never happened before, despite more than 600 men and women embarking on trips outside of the Earth. Simone Dubé, a uh, researcher at the Kinsey Institute, told the Daily Beast, Officially, no sex has occurred in space. That said, it's likely to change, and for many reasons, must change, as we expand to the cosmos for ever longer periods of time. With this likely increase, the chances of a female pregnancy in space occurring, experts are now mulling over the possible impacts that the cosmic environment would have on a pregnant woman and her fetus. Dr. Jennifer Fogarty, Assistant Professor at Baylor College of Medicine's Center for Space Medicine told the Daily Beast that there are serious concerns over the possible negative effects of such an event from occurring. This is despite there being anatomically and biologically no known imp impediments to human conception in space. But the cause for concern is over the possible effects that radiation and microgravity could have on an unborn child, potentially resulting in birth defects or loss of life, Dr. Fogarty said. Mr. Dubé explained to Daily Beast, microgravity and weightlessness can affect the overall health of astronauts. It can affect body fluids, such as blood flow and lead, uh, lead to, uh, lead to uh, deconditioning. This includes, for instance, muscle atrophy and reduced bone density, in turn, this can potentially affect the sexual health and functioning of space inhabitants. Despite some evidence for this, there are still a lot of unknowns in the domain of understanding how space can impact growth, uh, grown human bodies. But what we do know is a huge amount of specific activities need to be regularly kept up in the cosmos to build the damage, any damage from being caused. But NASA's Human Research Program, HRP, has been studying the impact of space on the human body for more than 50 years, making some serious groundwork on the subject. It has been discovered that one of the biggest challenges is reducing the risk of radiation exposure, with some space radiation particles proving especially difficult to shield against. The strategy used the slash the health risk of space radiation exposure is to implement shielding radiation monitoring, and specific operational procedures. But for a pregnant woman, these measures could be completely different, and it raises a lot of questions as to how safe a woman would be if she became pregnant in that environment. Another issue in space is that microbes, tiny living organisms like bacteria, can change characteristics in space, and microorganisms that naturally live on the human body are transferred more easily from person to person in close habitats, like on the International Space Station, NASA's website says. Meanwhile, stress hormones levels are elevated and the immune system is altered, which could lead to increased vulnerability to allergies or other illnesses, which could also have a huge risk for pregnant women. This all helps to explain why NASA's official policy bans pregnancy in space Female astronauts are also reportedly tested regularly in the 10 days before launch into the cosmos, but this has not put off everyone from investigating what would happen if it was allowed. In fact, Space Life Origin, based in the Netherlands, wanted to send a pregnant woman accompanied by a trained world-class medical team in a capsule to space in a mission lasting 40, 24 to 36 hours. Under the plans, the capsule would return to Earth after the woman gave birth in a carefully prepared and monitored process will reduce all possible risks similar to Western standards as they exist on Earth for both mother and child, Space Life Origin website once read. The company had a 200, uh, 2024 target, agenda, uh, target date 
for the trip, which according to Egbert Edelbrook, one of the company's executives, needs to be done to prepare for the possibility that humans could form a civilization outside the planet. He told The Atlantic, human settlements outside of Earth would be pretty pointless without learning how to reproduce in space. This is something that has been pushed by Elon Musk, the multi-billionaire CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. The businessman has previously said, you want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great, and that's what being a space-fearing civilization is all about. And this is on Express UK by Jacob Paul. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.